Are you tired of being broke? Are you tired of having empty shelves with no cool loot on them? Are you tired of having no cool armor for any of your mannequins? Well hello, I'm Tactical Jesus and I'm here to show you the best way to gain loot and Karunas inside Ghost of Tabor. Now this is my first YouTube video, I don't know really what I'm doing. Um, I'm on TikTok, you might know me, you might not know me. But I'm here to give you the best tips and tricks on how to get money and good loot inside Ghost of Tabor. I'm going to be showing you guys all the spawn locations for the skulls, the creator items, tiki heads, to purple key cards, to crypto wallets. Which, if you did not know, cheese gives you 20k, handbook gives you 20k, the sauce gives you 20k, skulls give you 20k, tiki head gives you 20k. Crypto wallets is a random amount of number, so you might want to collect them and then sell them when you can. And key cards can give you access to even better loot, or if you want, you can just sell them for a thousand each. Now, to start this off, we are going to be heading over to Missile Silo. Once you are in Missile Silo, you want to make your way down to the office slash kitchen room. Right down here. If I don't die to scabs. Actually, we can take a pit stop in here real quick. We don't talk about that. Anyway, you are going to make your way over to the kitchen slash office area like I said. If I don't die to a scav again. Just want to make your way down here. And head in to the back kitchen where there are going to be three spawn points for, oh, we're lucky enough to get one, Lonely Viper's Hot Sauce, which is also a creator, that's why it's a creator item, will spawn right here or around the map. Oh, and we got the cheese. Okay, Tweak's Cheese spawns right in this cooler and around the map, but these two are the main spawn points for both these items, and each of them sell for 20k each. But anyway, moving on to the back area. Just want to make your way back into this back room. Hopefully I don't die. We're going to want to head into this open room right here through the broken wall. And on our right will be the skull spawn where you can find your cheese skull to sell for 20k. Or I'll show you later in the video where else you can use it. And finally, if you come through these doors, down the stairs, over through here, on my die again. Got him. Over on this barrel, you will find a crypto wallet spawn. Now, it does spawn. It's a, almost a guaranteed spawn chance for it to spawn on this barrel. And, you know, these are for anything. You can go from, I think, 1 to over 500,000. So yeah, definitely worth grabbing these. And there's an exfil right here so you can easily get out. Moving on to the next map. Now we shall make our way over to the island of Tabor for the next item spawns. So if I don't die straight away, you are going to want to make your way all the way over up to the radio tower on the highest point of the Tabor map. That little building up there. Now right up here on Radio Tower there are three spawn locations. One is for two GPUs and the other is for a purple keycard. Now we didn't get it but the first GPU spawn will spawn right on the shelf right here. Next we want to make our way up the stairs to the right and into this door where we also didn't get it but a purple keycard spawn will be right on this desk slash shelf thingy. And finally make your way up the ladder into this little hidden room where the second GPU spawn will be right down here. Now if you take this passage through this little, I don't know, walkway area into the main research center, you will find where the two purple keycard spawns are. You can either go to the staircase over there or the staircase back here, either way works. Get out of my way. And you want to come to the first floor, which the letters are not attached to the wall. We're not going to worry about that. 
if you come over down here and on our right to this desk there will sometimes be a purple key card spawn right right around here so that's the first one next you want to go all the way back upstairs if you come to this conference room area on the very edge of this desk which of course we didn't get the spawn again but there will be a purple key card like halfway in the desk because the spawn rates are weird but this will be the second purple key card spawn now if we make our way down grab the glock if we make our way down into the back we'll find the next gpu spawn if you come into this little storage kind of area go up these stairs in this back area room there sometimes will be a gpu spawn on this desk after clearing research we can make our way over here to the prison camp for the car battery spawn as you make your way to this little prison camp you want to head over to this brown van type military truck and it's not guaranteed and it's very rare but sometimes oh we got it a car battery spawns right in here now we need to make our way over to prison but the car battery sells for around 15,000 I think or it's just a cool collector's item to keep in your bunker also if you're heading down this road you might want to stop by this little van where you can get an NRS which is a guaranteed spawn every time once you get to prison you want to make your way over to the main building where you will get four different spawn points for three different things you want to make your way into this little cafeteria area where the first spawn point will be we didn't get it can you shut up anyway a tiki head will spawn on this counter right here um, we didn't get it, but here's one of the tiki spawn points. Next, you want to make your way upstairs where you'll find the orange key card, GPU, and second tiki spawn. Make your way up these stairs, and we didn't get anything. Anyway, a GPU will spawn right on this shelf, a tiki head right on this corner, and an orange key card right on this desk part. That's all for Island, so we're going to make our way over to Nighttime Island to show you what happens at Church of Fish. So now that we've finished the Island of Tabor, we're going to head over to Nighttime of Tabor. But of course, before we head in there, I need to grab me a... Why is that on? A helmet and night vision. As we make our way over to Church of Fish, if you guys did not know, they recently added a fish boss, which I think we got so um there's more loot for you uh i wasn't expecting to fight them today i was just trying to show the loot room but let's see if i can take them out with just an ak oh we didn't get them okay never mind anyway if you come over to the church of fish at night this little bunker down here will be open up and you can just head down here and you will get some pretty decent loot. Tier 4. Um, a GPU spawns in this little drawer. It's not certain, but it is. You got a couple crates. Dragonov. Two grips. Fishing rod. And nothing. There's this little loot spot that they just added. I'm going to come back and see if I can get the fish spawn to show you guys what you can get from that. And we'll get right into that. Okay. After like thir After like 30 minutes... Who knows how many- Oh crap, they're already here. Okay. What I was gonna say is after 30 minutes, we finally got them. So let me- Let me take them out. I don't know why my character is making damage sounds. I might not have enough ammo. All right, there's two down. I might have to grab one of their guns. Shit. Damn it! Oh my god, that took so long. <laughs> I brought bigger guns with me this time, and after 40 more damn raids, we finally got them to spawn again. So I am not playing around anymore. These guys are dying.
I'm out of ammo! So if you are able to eliminate these four assholes, you are going to get the fish, fish's shark mask and the in-fish gun. Oh, those flew. I don't really know what this gun's called, but it's got a little fish keychain on it for the Church of Fish. Um, it comes with this cool mag. They have a little fish design, and it just... It sounds cool. As always, you can get the stuff down here. Oh, it looks like we got the GPU spawn. Two tan vest, GPU, um, bison, suppressors, angled grips, and whatever. So yeah, the Church of Fish is definitely a go at nighttime. But I am going to warn you now, there is always, always going to be some little camper hiding out in these trees. So make sure you watch your back. Now for this last map, I'm not going to say it because I sound stupid every time I try to say it. We are going to need a couple things. Firstly, we need to get geared up. Secondly, we are going to need ourselves a purple key card and a York skull, which you can find in silo, like I said before. And now we head over to Matica Miest. If you don't know where you're going, um, I don't know how to tell you where to go, but you are going to want to make your house. Okay, I'm stuttering. You're going to want to make your way over to the house of Scott where you will get two types of loot there. If you know your way around the map, House of Scott will be easy for you to find, but if you don't know, try to make your way into the main area and then down this alleyway where you will see a Arcsade poster. It's also by the graveyard. You're gonna see this red room with a porta potty. You're gonna wanna make your way through here. You're going to see this door. You're going to shoot the lock. This is where you're going to need Yorchi's skull. Place it right onto him. And those doors open. And this is kind of the first loot area where you can get some pretty decent loot. This is also where the handbook spawns. I don't think we got it, but it will spawn right on the surfboard desk. Um, you know, there's just a bunch of crates around here for you to loot. But if you make your way over to this back area where the kitchen is, there's going to be a vault where you insert your purple key card and get vault loot. Just, you know, the regular stuff. Now, if you did not know, these vaults are what purple key cards are used for. There are two in this map. There's one on island and there's one on silo. But it just gives you some pretty decent loot for your next raids. And if you didn't know, if there's someone camping out there and you don't know how to leave, you can come into this bathroom area and there will be a ladder in this first bathroom where you can climb up. There's a little dead guy right there. You can crawl inside these vents for an easy and safe passageway out. Just be careful there's no one camping down in this little corner. So yeah, that's how to get the best loot and easiest way to get money fast inside Ghost of Tabor. I really hope you guys enjoyed this YouTube video. It's my first video on Ghost of Tabor. And if you guys enjoyed, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Comment down below if any of these tips were helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.